Five things managers should consider when laying off employees remotely. As employers assess the damage caused by one of the most punishing economic downturns in U.S. history, layoffs may be the norm for a while. The best practice is to break the bad news in person. But nowadays, that's likely not an option. Many of the people who will be let go have been forced to work from home because of the pandemic. That means they will be told remotely through a video conference or phone call. For managers, the human and technical considerations of delivering the bad news virtually are a little different than when they meet with employees face to face. 1. Give everyone a little heads up home is normally a person safe zone. So shocking employees with the bad news while they're in the kitchen or within earshot of their kids or spouse is more personally invasive than doing it in an office. That's why it's considered a best practice to give employees in the affected departments, all team members, not just those being laid off, a day or two of advance notice that you'll be setting up brief, one-on-one -on -one virtual meetings to discuss upcoming changes and to suggest they take the meeting someplace quiet. Not all employees will suspect a layoff is coming, but they will likely anticipate some kind of serious news. You're setting up expectations so the employee is not caught off guard, said Raymond Lee. CEO of CareerMinds, a virtual outplacement company. If, however, you're letting just one person go for performance-related reasons, Lee does not recommend giving any advanced indication of changes. If there's a performance issue, there should already have been several conversations up to that point. So you just need to send a regular catch-up meeting invite, Lee said. 2. Master the technology beyond rehearsing what you'll say when laying someone off, make sure you've mastered the medium through which you'll be saying it. That means working on a clear, brief message and practicing it with an HR manager on the video conference tool or conference call system you plan to use. And make sure you've nailed the security features of that technology so no one can zoom bomb you or otherwise hack your meeting, Lee said. That means sending out encrypted meeting IDs and locking in sufficient time for the meeting so, if it goes a little long, no one can suddenly join in, he advised. 3. Give individuals privacy in group layoffs everybody will react a little differently to being laid off. And they shouldn't be made to feel on display when they hear the news. So if you have to lay people off en masse by video conference, turn off everyone's camera so they can only see you, but not each other, said Brian Kropp, chief of HR research for Gartner, a business advisory firm. It's an incredibly emotional experience. Some people will have no response and others will break down and cry. Letting that happen on camera in front of others is a disrespectful thing to do. 4. Rethink how you shut down employee access to the company network Another technological concern, when layoffs are done in person, the IT department often will disconnect the employee's computer from the company network while you're meeting with them. But if you're laying someone off online, you can't cut their connection halfway through, Krop said. It can't reach in remotely to wipe the person's laptop in the middle of your conversation or when employees have turned off their Wi-Fi. So work out in advance with HR and at what the logistics will be for shutting down the employee's access to the network. You'll also have to decide whether and how to recover company equipment. Some companies are sending shipping material to their employees and asking them to ship their equipment, e.g., laptops, back to the office, Krupp said. Others are telling them to keep it if it's older and the cost of collecting and storing it isn't worth it. Similarly, employees will also want to know how they're supposed to retrieve their personal belongings at the office. Most companies are telling them that an administrative assistant will pack up their things and ship it to them once the office building reopens, he noted. 5. Now more than ever, be honest and compassionate The deadly pandemic paired with an economic crisis has made everyone's lives more difficult. Now they will become even more so for the people you're laying off. Be honest about the company's situation and the business reasons for the layoff, while also spelling out what sacrifices senior leaders and others are making, Krop said. How companies manage the next five months will define their reputation as an employer for the next five years. It's also critical to have an outplacement provider as well as a career coach or counselor from the Employee Assistance Program on standby for when your meeting ends, Lee said. With the employee's permission, those advisors can call that person, give them a chance to vent, and then start talking next steps, Lee said. They're trained to help people move forward. Click subscribe to receive the latest news.